probably my favorite news story this week sounds really boring uh, when you first look at it. So hackers abuse Google ads to spread malware in legit software. So like, what is that talking about? So I have covered a couple different uh, malicious campaigns where I will get a link and when I click on it, it will go to what's obviously, obviously a phishing page. And then when I go to OWASP Zap and I attempt to take it apart and I go to this very same link, it will drop me to this totally innocuous looking website. What's going on here? So there's a component of these attacks that allows it to get by certain, um, certain protections that are built into Google Ads and other attack vectors that make these malicious websites appear at the very top of your search results. So if you are not using a ad blocker of any sort, then when you do a Google search, it looks like this. So if I say, I want to download Grammarly, and I type that into Google, the first result is not going to be a real search result. It is a mm. paid ad. And a lot of people don't know that because it's designed to look as though it is a search result. But what threat actors are doing is they are making it so when this ad is clicked, it goes to uh, a URL that tries to figure out whether or not you're a target. If you're not a target, it dumps you off at this like uh, just Christian heating and air conditioning website um, or, or some other innocuous website that will pass the smell test for when Google attempts to see whether or not this link is malicious when promoting it as an ad. If you are the target, however, it will redirect you to a very high quality phishing page. And this is a method that threat actors have been using to make it so that people who are not using an ad blocker or maybe they're you know on a private window um, where like their ad blocker isn't running, it makes it that much more likely that they'll get something that looks like a search result but is actually a very malicious, very sophisticated phishing page promoted at the very top of your search results. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're not very savvy with like knowing what these ads are or where they could pop up, these are campaigns that are increasingly being used to target people. And Bleeping Computer was also reporting on a variety of other phishing campaigns that were targeting lots of common software. We're seeing Grammarly as one of the examples, but there's lots of other really popular ones that have been targeted, such as Ring, Audacity, uTorrent, Malwarebytes, uh, Slack, Dashlane. Um, Thunderbird and Brave Browser. Now, Brave Browser, I think I've actually observed uh, this in the wild, where mm -hmm. I've seen um, like advertisements for Brave, and I've clicked on them and be like, this doesn't look like a legit URL. Like, why would it be like dot tribe or, or something <laughs> like that? You know. And um, I've always been curious, like, what is going on here? But it looks like this is what was happening the whole time. So. Um, Another one of the handy graphics they put forth is uh, an example of some of the masquerade sites versus mm. the hidden phishing sites. So if you got, uh, if you did a Google search for America's first credit union, um, what the crawler that Google puts out would see would be this like very benign, no, no, nothing malicious about it uh, website. But if you were the target, you would be forwarded onto this fit hidden phishing site that looks a lot better. And really, that's where the effort is put here. So this switching mechanism is how they went after uTorrent. Audacity, Brave, and a lot of other software platforms in order to trick people who are going after the software to download into downloading a malicious copy instead. And this included things like Raccoon Stealer. And what's interesting here is while it would deliver a malicious piece of software, it would also give people what they came to download. So it would actually go and like get the most recent version of you know uTorrent and download that too. So when you would run it, it would seem as though you had actually got the software you requested. So a lot of people were infected by this without any suspicious uh, any sort of suspicious thing happening because it appeared as though they installed the software they meant to, but instead they were installing something like Raccoon Stealer, which can then be used or even sold as an initial access broker to allow other people to just drop their malicious programs on your device as well. So very, very common phishing technique now and be on the lookout for these sort of fake search results because they are really, really easy to turn into a Trojan horse and allow people to click on what seems like a legit link promoted by Google at the top of the results, but end up down, uh, downloading some sort of malicious program instead.